Today's destination, the Japanese Tea Gardens in San Francisco, California. Whenever I'm in the Bay Area, I try to take public transportation as much as possible. It's just so much easier. I don't have to drive and I don't have to park. The garden is a cash only entry, so don't rely on that credit card to get in. Or if you go between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you can get in for free. In San Francisco's Golden Gate Park, a Japanese immigrant named Makoto Hagiwara created a stunning Japanese tea garden gifting many structures, sculptures, and plants. He and his family were caretakers of that garden until the Hagiwara family was interned during World War II. At this time, the garden's name was changed to the Oriental Tea Garden. During this time, many artifacts were stolen and the garden went into decline. At the end of the war, the name was reinstated and the street it is on was named after Mr. Hagiwara. Traditional Japanese garden designs employ Japanese aesthetics and philosophical ideas. Artificial ornamentation is avoided in favor of enhancing the natural landscape. Plants and aged materials are strategically placed giving the impression of a long ago faraway land. Each lovely little path offers a gateway into what I like to think of as chapters in a book. Every view has its own part of the story to tell. The origins of the garden were an exhibit of a Japanese village created for the 1894 California Midwinter International Fair. At the end of the fair, Mr. Hagawara was allowed to oversee a permanent Japanese-style garden as a gift for posterity. It is the oldest Japanese tea garden in the United States. The drum bridge, also known as a moon bridge, gets its name because when reflected on the water, the full circle shape it creates resembles a drum or a full moon. It also allows barges to go through the canal smoothly underneath the bridge. And every view is as breathtaking as the one that came before it. Tea gardens bring together the arts of gardening and serving tea by creating a space to hold the Japanese tea ceremony and was first developed during the 16th century. The name for tea garden when translated means the dewy path. And of course you have to have a gift shop. Overlooking a koi pond is this lovely rustic tea house with an assortment of traditional Japanese snacks and desserts to try out, as well as, of course, tea. It's my turn to order and I'm going to have some miso soup and enjoy the view. <laughs> it's been a lovely day, but now, for me, it's time to head home.